Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to install this screen. It's useful for navigation, music, radio, and a whole a list of other features. It's linked in the description for you to buy and I'll show you how to install it today. So in the package, you receive this cable, which is for the rear camera. You receive this for the GPS, the microphone, and a few other ancillaries. And this, which is the main one for powering the unit and for the main sounds. Obviously, you have the screen as well. And this insert, which goes over to replace this one so that your screen can sit in. For this video, we're only going to be using this set and one of these cables in here. Uh, just to make sure it powers on uh, because we don't need to do anything just yet more videos will come showing how to install the camera and the microphone and the GPS so before you do anything to the car before installing anything you need to make sure you disconnect the battery um, the negative terminal so that we don't cause an airbag light to come on because we remove the radio now you can look in my other video where I showed you how to replace the battery to look at how to remove the negative terminal. So the first thing we need to do is to remove the radio so that we can install this first cable for the power. And now to do that, we need to put the gear lever back. So what I'm gonna do is after having disconnected the battery, I'm gonna turn the key into the second position. I'm gonna press on the brake. I'm gonna move it to drive so that we have more space here to remove the screws. So the next thing we're going to do now is open this cup holder and now you can see here we've got a little bit of space so we're just going to pull up with our fingers just like so i'm going to remove this because i have the nokia kit installed and i'm just going to wedge it out now there's these clips at the bottom of this uh, gear surround which you can just pop off like so to give you more space to work whilst removing the radio now you want to get a Torx 25 bit to unscrew these two screws down here. Remove these two screws, leave the radio alone because we're now going to remove this center speaker. Now, to remove this panel, you go around here and around here to release these three thick clips. And from here, you can just essentially just pull it up because it's just a cover, as you can see. So get your Torx 25 uh, bit now again and just unscrew all these five screws. Unscrewing the last screw out of these five here, like so. You can now remove all of this panel, like so. Now, if you have a speaker here, uh, you might have something connecting here or at the bottom, in which case you'll need to unplug that. Mine does not have anything installed, so just need to unplug this cable by pressing down on this and just pulling. Now we take the first bag, which contains the cables which we'll need to plug into this so that we can get power to our screen. And we'll also need to take this cable, which will be in one of the other bags. So now we can go back to our radio and remove it by pulling up from the bottom and then from the sides pulling towards us. And the whole thing is revealed. And we can see down here all the cables which we'll need. So now we can install the cable. Now to install the cable, we need to remove these two connectors, the gray one and the green one. And to remove them, you just press this latch here and you just wiggle it about a bit until it comes up. Just give it a bit of persistence and it'll come out. And with the green one, press the latch down and just pull from the sides and that will come out as well. So now we take our cable and we need to install this one, this plug into the original cable and then this one goes into the radio. 
and the same with the green one this one goes into the original plug and this one goes into the radio so now just take it and push it in and it should click a bit you can see it's a bit loose but that doesn't matter very much and we can just plug the other one into the radio just like so and the same with the green one we can take the green connector plug it in to its connector until it clicks and we can take the other connector plug it in until it clicks so now this key connector goes into this CAN bus which allows us to bypass the most security system in order to have the screen so this just plugs in like so it clicks in and now just so you know the rest of the connectors on this cable this one goes into the screen and this one also goes to the screen and these two audio cables also go to the screen so now we need to route the cables which are going to the screen up to the top so if we look over we can see this hole here where we can pass the cables through now i'm not going to film this because this is a bit tedious but you can figure out for yourself how to get the cables all in here that we need for the screen now once you've rooted them up i would suggest you route the canvas also the box up here also because there's not much space between this connector which goes to the screen and the canvas so all these four connectors now each go to the screen and we're going to show how to install them onto the screen so now before we do the screen we need to put the radio back first so we just it's a reversal of the removal so we just pull it in being careful not to trap any of the cable we've, we've just pulled through pull it just tucks in just like so and you can see we've not trapped any cable there's still plenty of travel for the cables to be routed into the screen here and the radio is also been closed so now we'll just install these two screws here Just to close this up, we can lift the gear surround onto the gear, click it in place. I need to put this on also, which is the button for the Nokia car kit. Slot it under the radio. And just like so, we've put the surround back together with the radio. Now we'll get on to how to connect these cables to the screen. So now taking our screen, we need to remove this back plate in order to install the connectors. So there's four screws. One, two, three, four. And now we'll remove them. Now having removed the four screws, we can simply lift off the cover, which reveals all the connectors that we'll need to install the screen so the screen itself is going to sit like this but before we install the cables to the screen we need to first route the cables through here on the bottom plate which would then pass through here which would then connect to the screen so the first thing we need to do is install this bottom plate replacement so now for, to install this bottom plate, we first need to remove these covers, which will cover up the screw holes for the templates. And after we remove that, then the wires will have space to come out. After having cut the screw covers for the screws, we, before we install this cover, which goes on the screen like this, like this, we need to first install this cable which connects to these cables here that we have here so we need to choose the audio out cables as you can see here you have one here and you have the other one here now be careful not to confuse it with the aux in because otherwise your won't you will um screen won't have audio so installing these is pretty self-explanatory it's just red to red and white to white.
So now we need to connect these two parts. Now these connect by three screws, which we can see from here, here, and here. And these screws are gonna be in one of the bags. There's gonna be a little bag of screws, just like this. There'll be six screws inside. And these will install from the back here, like this. I won't film this part, but you'll see the finished thing when I start recording next. Now, after having screwed it on by these three screws, you can see that it's all one template. Now we can route these three cables that we have left through here, ready to be installed onto the screen. Now we're ready to install the cables into the screen. We take our screen. This black one goes into this connector here. This bigger white one goes into this connector down here. And the other smaller white one goes into this eight pin connector here. So now after having connected three connectors all in their right places, we can put this back and now re-screw the screws that we prev previously unscrewed in order to take the screen out of the frame in the first place. So now after having installed the screens, the screws for the screen, we can now install the four screws surrounding the bottom plate. Now there's one at the back, just as you see here. So you'll need to be wary of that when installing them. There's four screws in total. And this, the, the same ones which we used when we had this in place, we can leave one screw out. So now you can put the covers for the screws onto the th uh, screw holes. Now be careful, they've got a notch, just like this here, which needs to line up to the notches here. They're different on each screw hole. For example, on this one, you can see it's right here on the bottom. So you need to match those up. And now we connect the negative terminal of the battery to check that it works. So now after turning the car on and putting the battery in, we can see that the screen lights turns to life. Give it a minute to start up. You can see it's loaded up. Now, to test that we've connected the sound uh, cables correctly, we can go to apps. Then we can go to music. And then we can press a song to listen, if it works. Now, before you do that, you need to go down to the radio panel, press power, and then turn it to aux. Otherwise, it won't work. Now, pressing it to see if it works. You can hear that it starts to work. So now seeing that it works, we have finished the installation and it's ready to use properly. I'll make another video about how to use it properly. Um, but that's it. Don't forget this product is linked in the description for you to buy. And it's the two gigabytes of RAM and the 32 gigabytes of storage version. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.